Hey guys, welcome back to the Kinwoven Home. I'm Shara, as you all know, and today we are in a new location. We are in our Kinwoven offices. You guys have not really seen this space yet because it's not fully done. It's still a work in progress and that will be a video coming very soon, a little update of where we're at with this office and kind of some of the fun, unique design things that my mom and I have been working on to bring to our cute little office here in Tulsa. Today, I wanna to tell you about another really fun project. In fact, if you guys follow me on Instagram, then you already know about this project. Tyler and I bought our very first Airbnb investment property, renovation, total mess of a house that we are taking on and making beautiful. We are restoring it to its former glory and we are very excited. So I'm gonna take you guys over to the house. We're gonna do a tour through it, show you all the details. It's quite smelly in its current state. So good thing you can't smell through the camera. It's the one time that that's an actual really good thing. I'm so excited. Then we're gonna come back here. We're gonna jump in to some of my mood boards and kind of like the vision and the design plan that I have and the style and the vibe and kind of just have you guys go along with me in visualizing the potential of this space because I think that the potential is huge and I am really excited. This is gonna be a space that you guys can come and stay at. It's right next to the Expo Center, which they have events at the Expo Center every week. This is a great opportunity for you guys if you'd love to stay in a beautiful Airbnb and it's close to the colleges. So I just feel like it's gonna be an awesome space for you to come and have some relaxation, visit Tulsa if you'd like, and be in a really beautiful environment. Okay, question of the video before I forget. Two questions actually. The first question that I am very curious to know what do you guys think is the most important amenity in an Airbnb? Is it an extra hair dryer? Is it a washer dryer? What are the amenities that you think are the most important that you'd love to find in an Airbnb? For me, I actually love it when Airbnbs have full length mirrors because you want to be able to see how do the shoes look with the dress, with the top, with the earrings, you know? And if you only have like a small little bathroom mirror, that you really can't get the vibe. You end up standing on the toilet trying to see, you know, it just doesn't work. So full length mirror, you know for sure we're gonna have those at our Airbnb. And the second question is, what do you guys wanna see of this renovation? Do you wanna see the construction? Do you have questions about demo and how to go about doing something like this? Do you have questions about the design? Do you have questions about the products? I wanna know what you guys are interested in knowing about this project. I'm gonna be sharing um, here on YouTube, I'll be sharing on Instagram, and then also really going into a deep dive on the design sessions. Leave me your comment and your answers to that question below. Okay, do you wanna go see what it looks like currently? Let's go. Welcome to our stone cottage. Come on in. When you first walk in here, you have this great little living, living room area. We have a fireplace. What I love, the wood floors in here are actually in pretty good condition. Obviously we need some paint. Uh, we need to fix some of these windows. We'll probably do something fun to the fireplace once we get into the design. You walk this way into the dining room. Ooh, we've got that light going for us. Thoughts initially here are to open this wall. The entire kitchen needs to be gutted. I'll show you this way. But this will be more of a casual eating area mixed in with this lovely kitchen. Pretty much make this wall go away, clear everything out. We're gonna replace where certain, you know, plumbing and the gas areas are because we're gonna have to move it anyway. Take out all of these things right here. The whole house needs to be rewired electrically, which is a big project, but we got it for a really good price. So we're really excited about being able to transform it and bring this old stone cottage back to life. You take some steps down, and currently we have kind of like a mud room closet behind you. And then we have this strange like glass pantry from the 70s. I think we're just gonna take all this out and repurpose it. Cause it's kind of gross. We have this open area. 
that we'll probably do like a laundry room in here because the laundry is currently in the garage. Then when you come this way, we have this whole area here that'll probably be transformed into some sort of secondary uh, family room space, maybe like a movie room. And then the doors right there go right out to the backyard. Mm. So someone already ripped apart our AC. <laughs> Gross. They ripped apart the AC, which was not very nice, and they stole the copper out of it. The backyard needs a ton of work. <coughs> yeah, just say hi. Woof. Okay, go see your dad. We need, there's a ton of the stuff that we're gonna have to do out here. Replacing some of the siding, updating a lot of the doors, cleaning up all this. A ton of power washing is gonna take place out here. And then obviously just a little bit of landscaping. The previous homeowner had a wonderful pet. There's just a lot that needs to be done out here. We have our work cut out for us, don't you think? Kitchen, you come back through from the outside. Bye-bye. This direction, and we go this way. So over here, we have the first bathroom. I actually really like the floors. We're gonna probably redo some of the tile in here. Try to see if we can open this up a little bit, make it a better shower, obviously replace the vanity, get a new toilet. There's some nice little cubby shelves over here we'll probably preserve somehow. We have a lovely linen closet behind you. And then the first bedroom is this way. So we have a nice closet over here, a little desk area over here, queen bed situation. This will be our first bedroom. Follow me this way to the second bedroom. This will probably be a king bed in this area. Now over here, we have this really intense closet system. And this is gonna be an Airbnb, so we don't need a huge closet uh, for an Airbnb. So I'm probably gonna take this all out and do some sort of a cool built-in. Kind of make this more of like a focal point as opposed to like this giant empty use of space. And then you come out this way and you're back to the front living room or you can go up the stairs. So we're gonna go upstairs. Okay, here's the next bedroom. I think that we're gonna make this room a bunk room, possibly, and do something with that lovely closet. Uh, we have another bathroom right here. It is very small. We both can't go in there. Toilet, sink, and shower to the right. We have a locked closet right here. In. And you could put some little rocking chairs here, have some plants, some hanging plants. I think it's adorable and I love the arches and the stone detail. Again, we just... and just make it a better livable space. So anyway, let's go outside. You can get a nice little review of the outside and we'll get going. Okay, so what did you guys think? It's a little scary, 
a little dirty, a little musty. So now that we're back here at the office, I'm gonna show you guys some of my mood boards. So as you guys saw, this is a literal stone cottage. The whole house is stone. And so I wanna play into kind of the stone cottagey vibe. I don't know if you guys follow a girl, Suzanne, but she came up with this really amazing design style name, which I am 100% buying into and love. It's called Bib Chic, Biblical Chic. I'm gonna be shopping a lot for this house on Facebook Marketplace or garage sales, trying to find old antique pieces, maybe old American furniture and add a modern twist to them. So anyway, let's jump into the board. I'm just gonna show you some of these pictures and get you excited with me, okay? So this is kind of the board I've started to formulate. I would love in a perfect world to be able to do something like this on the outside of the house. We would literally have to add a bunch of siding and a bunch of additional things, which I'm sure are not in our budget. And our contractor, Jesse, will tell me that that's not in our budget. I think we're gonna lime wash the brick or the stone outside. It's not brick, it's stone. Lightening up the stone is gonna go a long way and then adding some really beautiful fixtures on the outside to really play up the contrast and again, bring in the cottagey vibe. That's what we're going for here. Now, when it comes to the kitchen, I'm gonna bring in some reclaimed wood into that space and just make it feel like an old stone cottage. So here's a picture that kind of, two different pictures that kind of show that. Instead of eliminating the whole wall, there's gonna be like a, a little bit of a counter space that comes out. And right here in this space, I am going to um, just have it be a clean, open peninsula. So there won't be a stove, there won't be anything. Below that, we'll probably do the washer dryer or something like that. And we're going to move the stove over to the other side. And then in the corner, we will have a beautiful kind of plaster hood with a stove right there in the corner. Okay, so this is a really cool video I found. This is a Venetian plaster range um, that kind of goes above the hood. And I love the vibe of it. I love that it's kind of imperfect. Uh, it has some texture to it and some kind of movement. Um, and I don't know that we will be DIYing ours. We might, I mean, this girl did and she did a great job. I have a feeling it's much harder than she's making it look, but I think overall, I love the shape of it. It is more modern, but it's not too modern. It's kind of still has that cottagey vibe. And I think it'll be a great addition. Okay, this photo here, I love. Do you see the ceiling? I love the wood beams in the ceiling. I would love to bring that into our space and add some warmth into this kitchen. I love that there's a really fun tile on the floor. We're gonna be demoing the current mudroom wall that's there, making a pantry there in that space, and then adding a mudroom right when you walk in to the back of the house. And I want it to be something kind of like this. I love having some of the light fixtures up there. I love this color palette here. I don't really want a contemporary farmhouse, so you can kind of ignore how they label it, but there's ways that you can use some of these different colors in uh, your own space. I love elephant's breath. I think as far as cabinetry is concerned in the kitchen, I'm gonna go kind of lean more towards this dusty gray color. And then, okay, I love, love, love this fireplace picture. So in our current fireplace, they have kind of like a facade fireplace over it. Um, I'm gonna have them take that off and just see what's under it. It's probably some sort of stone, but I would love to add a similar stone as to what's on the outside of the house, bring that inside and stone the fireplace all the way up to the ceiling and add kind of a wood mantle on the front. So it'll be kind of a similar wood that we have in the header in the kitchen that's on the ceiling and kind of have that be a repeated matter into the living room, family room kind of combo room we have. So as I find these pictures, I usually save a lot of these photos to a folder in my computer and then I go over to using Canva, which is a platform I love. This is my stone cottage design board with a good kind of representation of my color palette. I know that I want to have, like I said, a lot of those pots that either they're going to, I'll find them in their current state that'll look very biblical chic. Like I was telling Angela, this is a lamp that if lamps existed when Jesus was around, I'm sure he would have had that lamp in his house, you know? Maybe they turned water into wine in this vessel and then someone made it into a lamp 2000 years later. I think that's what happened with that lamp for sure. But I also in my mood boards, I love to add quotes and I love to add different things. So this right here says, don't be afraid to experiment. Not everything has to match. A house that is 100% perfect is rarely full of charm. And that's really the goal with this house for me. I wanna bring in a lot of charm. I wanna bring in a lot of uniqueness to this space. So from here, what I usually do, once I have my mood board kind of set, I take that and I usually, if I have a SketchUp model created, which I actually do in this case, I'll show you guys. This is just the base model. 
And if you guys want to learn how to build a base model or how to start with SketchUp, our design sessions, my mom has a really great tutorial on the design sessions. So we actually, we have a tutorial on how to use Canva. So it's called the simple design plan, which is kind of what I, I teach on the design sessions, how to do something kind of quick, kind of put your ideas on paper, paint a picture, paint a vision for where you want to go with the space. And then if you want to take it to the elevated level of doing SketchUp, which is more of our advanced design plan, you can create a two scale model of your room or your house. And that's what I have here. But that's kind of like the initial plan. That's the vision. That's like the vibe that I'm going for. And I'm just really excited about it. And I hope as you guys get a peek into this process, I hope that it gets you excited to follow along. And I also hope that it gets you excited and gives you the itch to do this yourself. Maybe it's not for an Airbnb, maybe it's just for your home. Maybe it's for just one room in your home. All that my mom and I do here with Kinwoven on YouTube and the design sessions, we wanna empower you guys to feel like you have the confidence to make your homes beautiful because we truly believe that your environment changes the way you feel about life. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope that this has been a fun and gets you guys excited about this awesome project. I love being able to share this stuff with you guys. And I love that you guys can come along for this journey with us. We've never bought a renovation project like this before where we're really demoing a lot and cleaning a lot of the junk out and kind of starting from scratch. So we are learning as we go, Tyler and I, and um, I really want to share like the honest truth with like challenges that we run into and all that stuff. Leave me your comments below. And if you haven't subscribed, be sure to hit the subscribe button and thumbs up this video. And you know, if you want like the real time info, go follow on Instagram as well. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Mwah. Love you. Bye bye. Hi, say hi. Hi. That's not hi.